When Todd was brought up on stage at the Vision Awards several years ago, he had been blind for 22 years. But with the stem cell implant, Todd got back 100% of his eyesight. The process was entirely supported by ABC Television and his own eye doctor, who had the ability and courage to perform the adult stem cell transplant. Todd's doctor did not suffer the same repercussions that other scientists had suffered during a past time when stem cell research didn't fit into the media criteria or the mindset of individuals who held the purse strings of progress in medical research. He's never seen his wife or his kids before. I hope he'll be able to see his children for the first time. Nobody? Oh my God. Safe? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Good. <laughs> nice to see you guys. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Those dimples. You are just beautiful. Come on, you can't give me a hug. Oh, you're beautiful too. <laughs> give me a hug. I just wanted to just grab them and look at them and just hold them forever. Look at those big, beautiful blue eyes. Today, stem cell has become a household word. We can only hope that those who are getting hundreds of millions of dollars in stem cell laboratories around the country use it in the spirit that it was allocated and that they will find a cure for these terrible diseases. The progress of stem cell research is the outcome of great efforts made by a fearless tiny few who resisted the name calling, the ostracizing, and all the negative name tags. We found the cure. Now we need to make sure we get the funding. One of my eyes now sees nothing, and the other one sees very little. And I can tell you that if you can pierce the darkness with any kind of spot of light at all, it brings you back to a place in the world that would make that transplant worthwhile. Even if you couldn't read again, and even if you couldn't see a face clearly again, it still would be wonderful to get on the other side of the darkness.